Here's a look at an old fan switch that I pulled out of my car. Uh, this is a 2000 from a 2002 Toyota Camry V6. Uh, this would be, I guess, a sensor. Uh, what this does is um, this screwed into the thermostat housing, and when the coolant reached a certain level, um, this will close the circuit and allow the uh, fans to come on and cool the car. Well, the car was overheating, the fans were not coming on, so that's why I took this out and I tested it. Um, I submerged this part of it into uh, boiling water, um, and I never got a reading from my multimeter because uh, I had the multimeter hooked up to this. I'll show you how I did that in just a second. But uh, yeah, it never, never closed, and so I uh, never got a reading, so I'm assuming this is going to be bad, and I have a new one on order. Uh, instead of showing you how I tested this on the hot plate, um, I think I'm just going to wait for the new one to come. But uh, using the multimeter, what I did was uh, just put it in ohms position here. And as you can see, when you touch the two leads together, you're going to get a reading. should go all the way over if you have continuity like that. Um, and what I did was I just, I used an alligator quip. This is a one wire, by the way, and I just uh, clipped it on the sensor, then clipped the other end to the red lead here. Uh, once I had it submerged in the pot of water here, and again, just submerged up to here, I had some wires holding it across so that it wouldn't go any farther than that into the water. Uh, once it got to you know, boiling temperature, or, or actually before, I was constantly touching um, the ground here, and uh, it was was not I was not getting a reading reading from the multimeter at all. Continued to do that too. It was clearly, probably, I'm guessing around the 225, 230 uh, range. Um, you know, and I should have gotten a reading around 190 to two. 10, I guess, is pretty much the, the normal operating, uh, driving operating t temperature for that car. So, yeah, this is bad, I'm pretty sure. And when I do get the new one in, um, maybe we'll do a test just to get an idea how to test these sensors. Here's a look at um, the sensor that I just got today in the mail. So you can see I've got it in the hot water waiting for it to get around 200 degree range Fahrenheit got it hooked to a multimeter here that's like that's the positive and the negative I've got here I'm going to be touching this right around at the 200 or when it when it gets to where it looks like it's about to boil bubbles start forming on the bottom of that little pot um, I should have continuity. Right now I don't have continuity. Whoa. As you can see. But uh, when it gets to temperature that it's supposed to close. Um, and um, I should have continuity at that time. So I'm going to just hang in here for a little bit and uh, wait till it gets a little hotter. I don't really have a... Uh, Temperature gauge here. Okay, finally we have some continuity here. So the fan would be kicking on. Uh, let's see. Let me get this infrared. I don't think this is accurate. It took a lot longer than I had thought. Um, I think the... You know, the hold on one second. Alright, so about 190, 
Thought it was hotter than that. So uh, that sensor should be good. So let's go ahead and turn everything off here. So you can't put uh, Teflon tape on the threads. I didn't do that. Uh, just make sure that you keep it on the threads and that you don't get it on the bottom. So this one seems to be going in just fine here. that in I've been running this car now for about 40 minutes uh, it has stayed at the normal driving temperature the gauge anyway and the fans have come on so you can see there I've got uh, the heat on as well thermostat is opening bottom hose is really hot you can also you can raise the uh, level by pushing the bottom hose so uh, fans have came on they're not on right now but uh, I'll probably go ahead and drain this system and put those two other sensors in sensor two uh sensor two one and two when i get those in the mail but it looks like uh the sensor three was uh the reason they weren't coming on i was hoping they would come on real quick here so i think we're good here let's go ahead and put the cap on And yeah, when I get uh, the other sensors in, I'll probably go ahead and drain this coolant, put some new coolant in. So I go ahead and check the temperature here. Top hose, 175. Bottom hose. One eighty four. Take this off one more time. Uh, 177. Kind of waiting for the fans to come on. Uh, let's check the uh, thermostat here. I can't believe that 203. Let me, let me clear this out. It's not 93 outside. Yeah, okay, that's about right. Let's check the thermostat. There they are, fans are on. I think they came on at 203. 205, 199, Drops it to 180, drops it to about 190, 195, and then they shut off. So, uh, yeah, that one, that sensor three right above the thermostat, that seems to have been the problem now. Like I said, I'll probably go ahead and change the other. You can see it's at uh, gauges where it should be. So, yeah, I'll probably drain that system, that coolant because uh, it does need to be drained uh, when I change the bottom uh, number one sensor or sending unit down there bought below the uh, radiator and again uh, number two which is right over here uh, when I do get those in the mail so anyway I guess I'm going to end the video because uh, they are working now and it looks like it was that number three 
So uh, until next time, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Hope this has been helpful. And take care.